Now let's uh, jump into the provisioner section. We have seen the builder section and then we have seen the documentation of it. Now let's move into the provisioner section. So in the provisioner section, so within the template, the provisioners section contains an array of all the provisioners that Packer should use to install and configure software within running machines prior to turning them into the machine images. So provisioners are of optional are defined with a, a template. So then no software other than the defaults will be installed within, within within the resulting machine images. So this is not typical. However, since much of the value of Packer is to produce multiple identical images of pre-configured software. So if you, this is the provisioner section that you can see on the screen, which is actually so optional. And it contain it contains a list of scripts in provisioner section. So if you see on here, uh, th this is hardening config dot sh, and here we have uh, uh, another script. So you have a list of uh, uh, scripts that will be executed by Packer on a temporary VM base image in order to build our custom VM image according to our needs. So anyway, we are going to do an exercise on this so let's do it but before that we'll go through the theory first so if the packer templates does not uh, contain a provisioner section so no configuration will be made on the base images so in the provisioner section packer will upload and execute the local script so in this example hardening dot uh, hardening config dot sh that's the script it's going to execute and to apply the hardening configuration on the remote temporary VM base image and copy the content of the scripts uh, installer local folders to the remote folder. So forward slash temp scripts to configure the image. So in this section, we list all of the configuration actions for image to be created. So, so we will see more about uh, provisioner section. So for example, so however, uh, when creating an image of a VM, a virtual machine, it's necessary to generalize it. In other words, delete all of the personal user information that was used to create uh, the image. So for example, for a Windows VM image, we will use the sysprep tool as the last step for provisioners with the following code. So that you can see here, this is for the windows, the provisioners, obviously, as it is for the windows, the type that we have used is PowerShell and then inline, these are the commands that we want to execute uh, as a temporary basis uh, so that the image can store these configuration with it. So and for deleting uh, the personal user information on Linux image, and this is the code, uh, we will use the following code. So type shell and then here, execute command the type of provisioner that we use so here uh, uh, in spite of this part of uh, in spite of shell we can use a uh, puppet or you can use uh, um, chef so inline execute command sudo so this is the information and then this is the command you want to execute to find out uh, uh, to basically uh, delete the personal user information on a linux image so after the provisioner section let's talk about uh, variables so how do we use variables so template user variables we call it as a template user variables in the pack user variables allow your templates to be further configured with variables from the command line environment variables or files so this lets you parameterize your templates so that you can keep secret tokens, environment specific data or other types of information out of your template. This is actually a use the variable is very, very beneficial uh, in uh, making a Packer template. So this maximizes the portability of the template too. So using a user variables expects you to know how configuration templates work. So if you do not know how configuration templates work at, so please 
follow this uh, slide very well so then so because i'm taking so much of stress on theory first so that uh, when i do the practical uh, demonstration of the same it would be much easier to understand so that's why i always stress on i always stress on theory first that too with the uh, infographics so you says now in order to set a user variable so in order to set a user variable uh, you must define it either within the variable section within your template or using the command line as where option either single uh, short where option or uh, long where file flags whichever is the one either you can use either this so even if you want a user variable to default variable to default to an empty string it's it's best to explicitly define it so this explicit in explicit explicitness helps reduce the time it takes newcomers to understand what can be modified using the variables so now uh, so let's look into the example here so the variable section is a key or value mapping of the user variable name to a default value so a default value can be an empty string an example you can see here so variables either you you can mention in a simplest way so access key and then a secret key and then image folder and vm size that's one way so or else you can mention this is builders and this is provisioners or else uh, uh, you can mostly mostly the variables file consists of uh, uh, the access key and then folders and vm size that's what these are the normal way uh, a variable uh, section consists of and then this variable file will be referenced in this uh, builder section or if you use it in builder section so that you can avoid uh, giving the sec secret data uh, avoid that uh, secrecy to you can maintain that secrecy and avoid that uh, exposing the secret information to the external users so, so that's the benefit of uh, variable section section so we have just uh, seen the structure of the packer template with the principal sections like uh, builders um, and uh, provisioners and variables uh, that compose it so you see we have a variable section and that will be referenced in builder section and then we have a provisioners uh, section so uh, which it, so builders provisioners and variables so now let's uh, uh, let's uh, look into the con concrete example uh, it's not the practical demonstration but on the uh, on the slides we'll see how does it look that's it so on the slides i just want to show you how does it look so let's see the uh, concrete example of uh, the same uh, so using this uh, packer and uh, json so the example we are not going to do the actual demonstration of building an azure image we are going to do aws image we we are going to build aws image with the packer template that too with the json okay so this is just for understanding because as we are not doing with azure so i just want to show you the code and how does it work okay so so we have now we will write the variable section that defines the elements that are not fixed so we'll begin with the variables uh, section so it consists of so what will we do is we have defined the variables and their default values with the following four pieces of uh, information so the first one is the four pieces of authentication information from the sp will be passed either in the packer command line or as an environment variable and the second the resource group group name size and a region of the image to be generated are also should be mentioned in the variables and then the image version variable that contains the version of the image used in the you is also should be defined so with these uh, variables we will able to see 
uh, we'll able to use the same JSON template uh, file to generate several images with different names and sizes. So that's what that's why we call it as a template. You can see that this is our variable. So it consists of several uh, several variables in it. Each each one is key value pair. So subscription ID, client ID, client secret, tenant ID, resource group, image name, and image name that we want as our Linux web and then image version that's a 0.0.1. So that's the first part is done. So defining your variable file, variable template, it's also a template. So defining your variable template is done. So now, uh, now the the next section that we're going to do is to write steps of the provisioner's image with the following with the uh, with with the code that I, I'm going to show. So here we have provisioner section. So here is what the provisioner block uh, look like. So what it does is it what the provisioners block will do is it updates the packages with apt get update and upgrade. You can see provisioners we are using a shell type provisioner and then what it will do it will up, it will update the apt get repo and then it will install nginx. So then we have uh, one more. So here. So once installation of nginx is done, you have one more provisioner that's also shell. So it's going to do user has been so it's going to do some one more activity. So these are uh, so and uh, in this the last step before the image has been created is the the VM is deprovisioned to delete the user information that we use to install everything on the temporary VM using the using this uh, command. So using this command, so user has been vacant and force and T provision plus user and uh, double ampersand export hit size. And when you give this, it's gonna deprovision. It's gonna deprovision the user information. That's very important uh, aspect in this. So we have just seen the structure of a Packer template, which is mainly composed of three sections, which are variables then builders and provisioners and from there we saw a from there we saw a concrete example with the writing of a packer template to generate a custom vm image in azure that uses the scripts of provisioning commands so we have our packer template finished and ready to be run once it is executed so if you Go, if you if you follow this exactly if you go to the azure and if you see you would you, you would have found uh, uh, azure image so now uh, let's look into um, one more example it's uh, similar to that building an azure image with the packer template so here again but here we have mentioned the builders so uh, azure arm and then os type linux that we have used and then this is complete explanation about this basically this section uh, describes the uh describe uh, describes about uh, uh rm type azure rm type which type of virtual machine you want and then uh, it also indicates the provider and it also describes the client id secret client subscription id tenant id everything all the properties it's it's the same it's the same i just want to show you one more piece of code i just want to i just want uh, you to get exposed to more amount of codes before we jump into the uh, actual practical demonstration so that's the reason i'm showing it so now this is the this is the exercise that we are going to do using JSON format. So creating Azure AMI using JSON. So our first step, I'm just uh, taking you through the steps, then we will do the practical demonstration. So the, our first step is to set up an IAM user and then get the AWS credentials, secret key, and then uh, access key. That's the first step. Then you list out AMIs. Uh, I, I'm going. I'm going to go with the uh, Red Hat Enterprise Limited. So I will list out all the uh, Red Hat Enterprise Limited, uh, limit, uh, Enterprise uh, Limited uh, AMIs that uh, um, spec that the reason I that the region I want to have is. So that list I'll get from that region, and then third will create a packer variables.json file so in this we are going to mention all the uh, 
variables uh, information such as uh, AWS credentials, AWS region, EC2 instance type and then subnet ID and then AMI name, that image name, that what you want. Then the fourth step is create a packer template. Now it's time to create a packer template where you mention the builder and then provider section. So that's what we are going to do here and after that once it is uh, during that uh, while creating a packer template we'll use a uh, hot coded source AMI so uh, here we have listed out uh, AMIs in the second step right in this second step we have listed out all the AMIs so you copy the one of the AMI from here and use it here in our packer template file so then you add the provisioner section in provisioner section we will add one or two commands. Then the last to create the AMI, it's use packer build, packer command, and then build subcommand and var file. That is an option. And then variables.json so that it will be connected with our uh, main template. So this is what is our practical demonstration flow. Let's jump into the practical demonstration and let's start working on it.